In this video, I am going to show you how to transform Minecraft into something I personally never thought I would ever see, and that is by using the Realism Craft mashup pack and the Actions and Stuff animation pack. Hello everyone, I'm Fizz, and we are in Minecraft Bedrock, and oh my god. What? Why? Why do I... Whenever I start a video, I always get ambushed by something. Okay, this guy needs to die. Let's try that again. Hello everyone, I'm Fizz and we are in Minecraft Bedrock and I am not going to get attacked this time. And right now you can see that my world looks pretty different. This is the Realism Craft mashup pack. And I mentioned in the intro that I'm going to be showing you how to make Minecraft look really amazing using this and the Actions and Stuff animation pack, which is something that I've actually uh, messed around with in a uh, previous video before. Um, but I don't have it enabled here. Be and that's because I want to show you guys the difference when you have just realism craft and when you have realism craft with the uh, actions and stuff animation pack. So first of all, realism craft on its own is is really amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What is going on? Okay. Um, I'm going to need some food, but uh, I think it's fine. We can just die, to be honest, and just respawn. Let me just show you guys real quick what is all included just in this particular mashup pack. So if I just open this book here by uh, right clicking on the ground, you can see um, there is a list of things that they've added, including uh, visual effects, realistic biomes, advanced structures, realistic mobs, realistic animations, dynamic light, 3D tools and weapons, and immersive sound. So if I turn the page, you can see you know, some of the visual effects that they've added. So like, you know, blowing leaves and like rainbows and things like that. Rainbows after it rains. Um, there's a whole bunch of like ambient VFX that they've added. Uh, surface fog, volumetric fog, you know, all that stuff like sand particles blowing. Tumbleweeds in the desert, cave dust, butterflies, fireflies at night. There's some really cool stuff. Um, and then they've also added some stuff with uh, like water and bubbles, underwater light rays, that kind of stuff. Um, the sky is actually really dynamic now. They've they've added like volumetric clouds. Like you can see them kind of you know drifting past. Um, there's northern lights sometimes at night, shooting stars, meteor showers, just some really cool stuff. Weather, a bunch of you know it, uh, a bunch of weather effects like and there's a bear over there. Wind, realistic rain, blizzards, sandstorms, thunderstorms, um, and I already mentioned some of this stuff like the the lens flare from the sun is really cool. Um, look at how the, the clouds actually like interact with, with the sun and um, the lens flares and stuff. It's really, it's really cool. Yeah, and then, you know, they've, they've also added some realistic biomes. Uh, new trees, plants, flowers, as you can see, like when I look around. Probably the cooler, one of the cooler things about this is that they've added some advanced structures. Um, a, lot of the, a lot of the original structures have been completely overhauled, like desert temples, jungle temples. They've added some new stuff too, like um, the the wandering trader has like a caravan that you can find. Um, there's like jungle tree houses, you know. Uh, the ruined portals look really cool now. They're like it actually looks like the Nether is like creeping out into the world and stuff. Um, so yeah, there's just some really neat stuff. The mobs are all like the mobs have all changed. Another cool thing is dynamic light. When you hold a torch at uh, at night, it or in you know a dark place, it like lights up the area for you. Um, the weapons are all like weapons and tools are all 3D. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on here? Um, and then, you know, they've also added a whole bunch of really cool sound effects and, and that kind of thing. So I'm just going to close this now and I'm just going to um, run away. And so, okay, so this is what one of the things I wanted to show you. So like the wolves, like check out the, check out the animations with these guys, right? Like um, I'm actually going to take that. There's some of the sound effects you can hear, like the wolf is making some sound effects. Um, should I eat this? I don't know if that's going to help me regen, but yeah. So in terms of animation, so this is one of the things. Oh God, is that? What is that? What is that over there? Oh, there's a zombie and a skeleton. Okay, um, let's just not go towards them. So if I if I just go into third person view, you can see like the walking animation is different um, with this with this uh, mashup pack. It's not the greatest, 
But if you've seen my other videos with my Minecraft Hardcore World, where I use the Action Stuff Pack, you can see that those animations are way better. And the nice thing about combining these two is if you put the Actions and Stuff Animation Pack underneath the realistic uh, Realism Craft Mashup Pack, it will it'll allow you to use those animations. You don't get all of the animations from that pack. Um, some of them are really amazing, and I, like I can show you what they look like just you know by itself. But this this pack actually overwrites some of that stuff. So oh, there's a village over there, and actually there is a a thing over here too. Um, Let's grab some of this stuff. Let's let's head to the village, and uh, you know what? Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to I'm going to enable the other the other um, the animation pack now. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go to resource packs. I'm going to go to my packs, and then I'm going to activate this one. Now, the active ones, so you gotta you gotta move this down. Otherwise, um, I believe that there could be some issues. So we're going to put that underneath and then we're going to go play again. Now you can see, you'll be able to see what my um, player animations look like. And I'm not 100% sure what other animations get replaced here. But this this actions and stuff animation pack is just miles better in terms of like how it looks and stuff. So you can see um, like the running animation is, is much better. Um, I didn't show you the swimming animation in the other one, but um, even, you know, like the swimming animation in this I think is way better. It actually has like a an above water sort of can't actually trigger it. Uh there we go. Like he actually they, there's an actual like swimming animation at, above the water compared to below the water. So um whoa, what is that? Okay, so we got a bunch of mobs here. Uh oh man. And I'm dead. <laughs> well you got to see the creeper explosion at least. Okay, um, I don't know what direction I was in here, but um, hopefully we can see some cool stuff at night. Because, yeah, like I said, nighttime, uh, there's some cool stuff that can happen in the sky and that kind of stuff. So we've got a whole bunch of bad dudes over there. The other cool thing that I, I'll try and trigger here is that the zombies in Realism Craft, they actually come out of the ground. Like, uh, like you would think that a zombie would, you know, rise from the grave kind of thing. Um, I want to see if I can get that to happen, but... Uh, I just I just kind of caught a glimpse of it very briefly but oh there we go so we got a meteor shower going on here um, I'm being chased by a spider doesn't matter and like the lens flare effect it um, happens on the moon as well whoa bro tried to leap on my head oh god there's another one seriously okay you know what is this is this is the one that I actually already looked in right yeah Oh, there's an axe in here. Let's take that. How come I didn't notice that before? Get wrecked, buddy. All right. So there's the village again. But yeah, like this is cool. Like look at this meteor shower at night. What is that over there? That I think that's one of the um, new structures or new biomes or mini biomes or something. Let's go check that out real quick. Um, hello, sir. I'm not interested in fighting you. So there is a village there. Let's try and sleep first because this is very dangerous. And then I, I do want to I do want to show you guys. Um, for those of you who haven't seen my other video with just actions and stuff. Oh my god, there's a spider jockey. Seriously. Oh, this is um, a caravan. Okay. So does he have a bed? Please have a bed. Yo, okay, there's a house. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, thank God. Okay, <laughs> let's sleep. Um, yeah, so I do want to show you guys what the action and stuff animation pack looks like on its own, because there's some, you know, there's some really cool animations just that that get overwritten by Realism Craft, which is unfortunate. But honestly, like having, uh, like losing those animations to me um, makes makes it uh, worth it because Realism Craft adds so much stuff to the game that it just makes it like a fresh experience, like. Um, like this, for example. Like, look at this. Look at this place. It's it's really cool. Nothing, nothing great. But like, this is so this is so immersive. Like, they, they he actually has like they actually have like a full on caravan where you can you know find them. Uh, I'm gonna take this bed actually, and I will donate you some wool so you can make your own bed. And I'm gonna wear this chest plate. 
let me let me make my inventory look a little bit less annoying i'm not even like trying to like make stuff maybe i should like just chop down some trees and at least make a sword um but i'm curious this i think that's a pillager outpost over there but uh and yeah so you can see a bird flying in the sky there like look at that that's so cool let's just watch him look at that that's amazing okay uh let's go chop down some wood over here oh there's a there's a big portal over there there's too many things to see <laughs> uh okay this is uh this is cool this is epic it's like on a hill Unfortunately, um, it's not the type where... Oh, you know what? I'm going to take this. I'm not going to be able to. Well, I will, but it'll take a while. Okay, I finally did it. So so you can see, you know, it is giving off light. It's not it's not as obvious because it's, um, it's bright outside, but maybe if I go... Ooh, nice. If I go into... Um, I, just, I just have all sorts of golden tools. That's funny. Um, if I go in into a cave or something, oh god, there's an Enderman. Then you'll be able to see it better. Okay, so what's this over here? Epic stare down with a cow. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to see. Oh, this is uh, this is the Nether creep thing that I was talking about. I think. Yeah, this is like the Nether in the overworld kind of thing, like creeping in. So yeah, you've got look at look at look at the running animation for the um, the Hoglin. Now. In if you if you turn off that is he where, who's he attacking oh god they attacked the sh the chickens that's so cool um oh it's a zoglin not a hoglin okay so <laughs> let's deal with this guy he's gonna break my sword super fast ow all right I think we're good rotten flesh raw chicken I need to cook some food man. Or eat that golden apple. I should just eat the golden apple, to be honest. That's not really going to help much. Okay, let's see what's in here. Ow. Another, another sword. Another shovel. What is with all the gold stuff, man? Another flint and steel. More flint and steel. Gold horse armor. Okay. Okay, so this is... Yeah. This is cool. So this is their version of the um, ruined portal. Really neat. Alright. Um... So let's head over to there now. But actually, first, what I'm going to do is... So you guys recall, uh, like, this cow here, right? Um, these cows. You can see how, they, how they're how they kind of, like, how they walk and stuff. So I'm going to just quit. I'm going to see if I can... Um, I'll just create a new world uh, because I don't want to mess up that one by removing stuff. So I'll just make um, a new world called Actions and Stuff just by itself. And I will go to resource packs and uh, put actions and stuff on. Now, when I when I when I play with just actions and stuff, I like to enable like RTX or something. So I'm gonna actually just enable RTX as well, um, just to show you guys. You know, like, oops. Like you you could also just do it this way if you don't want realism craft. Um, if you prefer the animations with um, with the uh with just actions and stuff um then you know you could do that but like just regular just a regular texture pack isn't really going to cut it so like it's nice to have like if you have an rtx enabled card or uh if you have um if you just like i have also i also have um, classic shaders which i've been using in my other world um my hardcore world and that may also makes it look good but um, the, the reason why I don't use RTX in that world is because in caves and stuff and at nighttime, it's just way too dark. So that kind of messes messes things up for me. Like, it's just not... I don't know. I don't, I don't prefer... I prefer to be able to see than for things to look amazing. So, um, yeah. But let's just find... Let's just find a cow or something so we can I can show you guys those animations and how much better they are in here. Uh... Where are all the animals at? Okay, there's um, there's a sheep. Okay, and a and a pig. So check out like, in 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 realism craft, they don't bob up and down like that. They don't they don't have these idle animations. And like, if if he actually starts walking and jumps up onto the thing, there we go. You know, like they're just it's just such so much more fluid. So I kind of wish that there was a way to override 
the animations in Realism Craft to default to using these ones because they're so much better. And like, even like the villagers and stuff, like they just look so good. Um, like look at this guy, he's so cute. So I, I just, yeah, that, that would be my thing, that I would love to have the animations all from here and all of the, the add-ons from the other one. I wonder if it's possible if I just use the add-ons with, uh, like get rid of all the, like get rid of the resource pack and just use, and, and use the, the resource pack from here instead. Let, let me, let's try that actually. Okay, so it didn't work. The, the test that I wanted to, to try didn't work where um, I tried to remove the resource pack from Realism Craft and just use the actions and stuff one, but it didn't, it didn't let me remove it completely because there's a dependency. So uh, let's just go back to this uh, Realism Craft world. And I'll just kind of run around and um, show you guys some more stuff. Um, before I do that, let's just go in under here so I can show you guys like the lighting. So you can kind of see it better here. Um, I don't have a, a pickaxe, unfortunately. I should really just <laughs> make some stuff. Okay, there's a tree there. Let's just um, let's just chop this tree down. You see how the angle? Whoa! You see how the um, the tree is like kind of it's got like angles and stuff. That's really cool. Wow, that is decaying fast. That's new. Okay, they changed that for sure. Okay, so let's um, let's just dig into the wall here. And get some uh, get some stone, and then I can show you guys like the lighting when it's really dark. All right, here we go. Um, this thing this thing doesn't really give off a lot of light, uh, unfortunately. So let's just get some coal. I should really just make myself a pick. And then I pick this up. Okay, now if I break this. And then I switch to the torch. Oh, I guess it's about the same. It's just it's just a visual effect, I guess. It doesn't really light up the place that much. But yeah, like if I put down a torch, you can see, obviously it's yeah. But Still kind of cool. All right, let's head over to the the outpost over there and most likely die. Oh, there's a baby pig. <laughs> they said that the baby animals look cuter now. They definitely do. All right, let's see. What is this place? Yeah, this is definitely like a pillager outpost. Oh, there's another structure over there. Wow. All right, let's see what's going on over here. I can hear them. Oh god, okay. Hello. Whoa, what a dodge. I am dead, man. <laughs> oh, are they attacking the villager? Alright, well, that's too bad. Um, I wanted to see what that was over there. I thought I... Oh no, I broke the bed. Oh yeah. Alright, let's run off in another direction. And see what else we can find. But like, look at that! Look at the look at the sun sh the sun shafts coming through the trees and stuff. Like that looks so cool. Ow! Why? I'm trying to enjoy the sun, man. Can you do you mind? At least, uh, at least he didn't kill me there. Okay, I'm just gonna put myself in creative mode and fly around just so we can find some stuff um, a little bit easier because um, I keep dying and it's not really helpful. So let's see what we can find. Okay, there's something, it looks like a village over here. Okay, so the villager animations are just, you know, nothing special really. But if I if I show you a village in um, in the other... Can I have your bed? <laughs> if I show you um, the villagers in actions and stuff, you'll you'll be uh, you'll be blown away. Um, let's do that actually. Let me. Oh. Let's see the cat. <laughs> They're cute. This one got trapped in here. Let's let the animals out. 
Oh, their, their animations are cute. And the sounds are cute, too. <laughs> okay. Um, let's jump over to the other one and find a village. and um, I'll show you what they look like over there. I'm kind of dumb. I forgot I, I'm in creative mode. I can just give myself stuff. <laughs> Villager. Oops. Okay, so let's just spawn some villagers here. Okay, the, the RTX um, thing was interfering with the animations, apparently. So I just turned that off. And now you can see, you know, how they're actually, <laughs> how they animate and stuff. It's pretty cool. So the way they walk and like the way they kind of like look at you and um, that kind of stuff, it's just, it's so much better than what's in Realism Craft. So yeah, it's, I got to find a way to, to make it work somehow because this, this would just make it so much better. If you know they acted this way with real with realism craft actually um, enabled, and uh, while I'm here, I can actually just show you some other stuff. Like you remember the uh, the Ravager, so let's see the Ravager animations in here. Like the other Ravager was cool, but look at this guy, man! So much more fluid and like. Like, all the parts just kind of move independently. It's just like, yeah, it's really cool. The way it charges and stuff. Here, let me put a villager down. Watch how he charges him. It's so cool. <laughs> um, there's some other there's some other stuff like, let's see. Oh, yeah, the, the bucket. Um, bucket animations. Like, if I, if I get, like, a bucket of puffer fish, tropical fish, salmon, cod... Not that an axolotl, like you can see, um, like how they actual <laughs> how they look and and they're like in the water actually like sloshes around when you move, and then if you stand still, it stops moving eventually. <laughs> the axolotl is my favorite. Look at him, so cute, and like he reacts when you jump too. Like look at this. That's so neat. <laughs> I love it. Um, what else? What else do we have? Oh yeah, the um, let's let's look at the uh, pillagers because we saw those in the other one too. We put a pillager down and then a villager down. Look at, look at you see his face when they're scared. Like they actually have a, like an uh, a scared animation when they're getting attacked. Like that's so cool. Sorry, buddy. Let's take a look at uh, Vindicators. Not Vindicators. Um, evokers. Yeah, that's it. Let's take a look at an Evoker. Put down a Villager. <laughs> oh, man. Here, let's give you another target. And look at those look at those guys. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> I'm having too much fun watching villagers get terrorized. I don't know why. Anyway, so yeah. There both of these both of these packs have advantages. It's just a shame that I can't get them to both work the way that I want them to. I want more of these animations, but I also want the world from Realism Craft. But, you know, uh, in, in the meantime, it, it works well enough. Like, you, you do have, in Realism Craft, um, you, do, you do get, like, the, the character animations that get replaced. So that in itself is good. But, um, yeah, I barely scratched the surface with um, what what there actually is in I just jumped back to the other world um, I, I was saying I barely scratched the surface 
of what is in Realism Craft. If you guys want to see like a proper playthrough of Realism Craft, then uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I definitely do want to check it out more. There's so many structures and stuff and, you know, cool things that um, I didn't even see yet in this. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed and we will see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And we will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.